Welcome to another bullet journal video in this channel. If you've seen my previous bullet journal videos, you would know that this is not my usual location. I wish it was, but I am currently staying in New Hampshire for the weekend and it has just been the most magnificent, amazing, relaxing time ever. And I figured I have about two hours before sundown and I thought it would be a great idea to just sit by the river and do some journaling and set up my March spread. So, without further ado, let's do some journaling. The time has come for us to finally set up our March spread. I just feel so incredibly blessed to be here in the mountains, to listen to the tranquil sounds of the river nearby, and it was just the most peaceful experience and I wanted to share it with you all. The theme for this month is skiing, and I was really inspired by the log cabin that we are staying in and its surrounding areas, as well as vintage posters of winter sports, and here I am mimicking the kind of typography that they have in those posters, which are all very bright and bold, and that is how I am decorating my March cover. As you can probably tell, I definitely did a lot of the work beforehand. I did some sketching and some drawing already, and it was definitely a necessary step for me because it was so cold. As you can see, the watercolors were not working quite well with me in this weather, and it was just something that I needed to do to be able to still enjoy my time outdoors and not get sick. Here I'm gluing a strip of a vintage poster as well as some illustrations that I drew and cut out. One of them is a lift pass and another is a pair of skis. I took up skiing last year and I'm so devastated to not be able to do it this year because of my ankle recovery. But I just remember being so shocked by how much of a privileged sport it is. Everything is just so expensive from the lift passes to the gear that you're using, whether you're renting or you're buying everything from scratch. But as ridiculous as everything is, I truly do enjoy it and am so happy that I fell in love with it as an adult and the fashion is just a nice cherry on top. The cabin we're staying in is a 70-year-old log cabin located in the White Mountains in New Hampshire and it is perched along Ellis River and get this, it has its very own swimming hole which I can't even imagine how fun that is during the summer but I still ended up taking a cold plunge which was terrifying and crazy but still fun nonetheless. This is definitely one of my favorite places I've ever stayed in so I wanted to add it to my journal and I also wanted to add a winter quote by Albert Camus, and it says, In the midst of winter, I found there was, within me, an invincible summer. I cut the quote short, but I really wanted to read the rest of it because it is so lovely. He then says, And that makes me happy, for it says that no matter how hard the world pushes against me, within me, there's something stronger, something better, pushing right back. I just think it is such a beautiful testament to the human resilience and spirit, and it's just a killer quote if I ever did hear one. For this next spread, I went ahead and did the most difficult part in advance, which is drawing these individual ski gondolas 31 to be exact for my mood tracker and it took a ridiculous amount of time very happy to have been able to skip this step because that would not have been a fun time to do in the cold and here i am just drawing a vintage typography of the mood tracker and painting the snowy mountain where our gondola rests on one of the easiest, most relaxing things to paint is a pine tree. 
And here I'm going to show you exactly how easy it is. First you just take a lighter color and do kind of a dabbing technique to it. Next you take a darker shade of green to add more definition, painting just underneath the leaves to create a shadow effect. And there you have it. You have a nicely defined pine tree. For this lettering, I am making the outlining do all the heavy work. I'm doing that initial outlining and also adding a drop shadow to it and it just gives it a lot more definition and makes the letters pop up. To track the moves of the month, I created a legend which I'm calling a trail map and the idea is to attach a color for each one of these emotions and color each gondola depending on how I feel that day. And one of my goals for this month is really to be more in touch with my emotions and my mental health in a more day-to-day -day basis and really reflect at the end of every day how I feel, whether I'm happy or feeling uneventful or tired, sad, or having a really bad day. I hope that this spread is able to help me in that pursuit of naming how I feel and at the end of the month be able to visualize my mental health as a whole. For this page, I'm using some vintage ephemera to decorate my habit tracker for the month. Last month, I made the mistake of trying to track way too many things and it just did not work out for me. And so for this month, I am honing in on five key habits that I am trying to be consistent with in the next 31 days, namely getting back into writing, which I am so excited about, not getting any takeout and saving money by making my own food and consuming less items as well as some basic things like skincare and flossing. For my daily logs, I am using Dutch doors to eliminate having to decorate each and every page and on the left I'm using another strip of vintage skiing posters and on the right I am painting a snowy watercolor skiing scene. These next steps are pretty self-explanatory, so here is a quiet journaling session with the sound of the river, exactly how I experienced it. Here is a quick flip through of my March spreads, starting with my cover spread, which includes my monthly log and a winter quote by Albert Camus. Next is my habit tracker with the five habits I want to be consistent with in the month of March, as well as the 31 individual gondolas that make up my mood tracker. And finally, I have my Dutch door style daily logs for the 31 days of March. If you're still watching, thank you so much for sticking around and I hope you had a relaxing time journaling with me today and it's kind of cold so I'm going to head back in but before that, if you wanted to see my other bullet journal videos, I'm going to be putting them over here and as always, I'll see you in the next video. I'm back in New Jersey. Bye.